Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about projectile motion. So in kinematics we talked about two types of motion, horizontal motion and vertical motion. Now what if we were to explore a certain type of motion that exhibits both properties? Projectile motion is the motion of a curved path. So for example, I have a pen right here. If I throw it like this, it doesn't just go up or just go forward. It goes in a curved path, which is what projectile motion is. Now, the horizontal and vertical velocities will be independent from each other. So, for example, if I have two balls, one held up in the air and the other in the same height but from a table and it's being pushed horizontally. If the ball is released the moment the other ball falls off the table, they will land in precisely the same amount of time. Sure, it'll drift a little, but it'll still land in the same amount of time because the horizontal velocity and vertical velocity are independent of one another. So we know the equations and all that. So let's just take a look at how we can calculate projectile motion. So say you and your friends were playing cricket, a sport, and you, the bowler, are, are throwing the ball at precisely 15 degrees at uh, no at a velocity of 40 meters per second or 144 kilometers per hour your height is the height of the ball is precisely 1.8 meters and the pitch is 20 meters long how long will the ball travel in the air and how far it will travel and will it actually be a wide ball so the velocity in the y direction will be 10.35 meters per second since the sine of 15 degrees is equals to opposite over hypotenuse as for vx as you can see we can use the cosine and we get 38.64 meters per second so for question a we use vi is equals to 10.35 meters per second and we use the equation we used in our last video which is the position and we get a total of 2.27 meters per 2.27 seconds as for the second one we use the same equation except one half acceleration times time can be ignored since the ball isn't accelerating downwards because it's in the wider it's in the x direction x and we get a total of 87.71 meters and this is actually very interesting because the ball is moving very far far from the how long the pitch is and if the, the batsman doesn't hit the ball which he wouldn't come on we put, then it will be a wide ball and that's why you don't throw the ball upward so that's all there is to it thank you for watching please make sure to like the video and subscribe and share this to anyone who might need it and thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye